Welcome to this demo of Process Mining in UiPath Automation Cloud. Process Mining leverages the data from your business systems and applications to discover and prioritize automations and process improvements that drive your business outcomes. It also enables users to monitor the efficiencies of processes impacted by automation. Today, I'll wear the hat of Benjamin, a procurement leader and owner of the purchase to pay process at his organization who uses UiPath Automation Cloud. My COE has already automated the low hanging fruit in the finance department. The early automation proved successful. So our C-level has started to take notice and wants to scale automation to other business units. We've identified procurement as an ideal candidate as purchase to pay is a core process for our company with a huge bearing on supplier relationships, cash flow, and customer satisfaction. When creating a process mining application, I can choose to create my process graph using either directly follows or on a discovered process model. Directly follows is the traditional approach of displaying the end end process. A process graph based on a discovered process model is constructed by uncovering hidden patterns and relationships within your data. It helps visualize parallelism using BPMN, a model based format. I will choose Discover Process Model as it will allow me to perform conformance checking to see behavior such as exclusive choice and rework. As a start, my COE has opted to ingest over 170,000 rows of data from more than 18,000 purchase orders. And as we scale process mining, my app can handle up to a billion rows of data. Upon opening process mining, I navigate to the end-to-end -end dashboard where I can analyze the complete purchase to pay process. Moving the variant sliders completely to the left allows me to see variant one, which is the most common variant accounting for 6% of all cases. This variant is often how the organization would like to see all processes flow, sometimes referred to as the happy path. Shifting the variant slider right introduces each of the additional variations this process has taken. Moving the slider all the way to the right will expose all 665 variations and highlight the need for process mining because it is difficult to discern all the complexities when simply viewing the data in its entirety without the assistance of UiPath process mining. Fortunately, to speed up analysis, I can leverage an AI solution within process mining, a feature to highlight process inefficiencies quickly, allowing me to take immediate action. Activities with largest bottlenecks and lowest automations will be immediately presented, reducing the cognitive load needed to interpret the process. Filtering on bottlenecks, I can see a list of process inefficiencies based on the longest throughput time. In this process, Restore Purchase Requisition Level 1 is the largest bottleneck, taking an average of 7.89 days, which is 5.16 days longer than the average duration of 2.72 days. All of these could be potential for automation, and with Process Mining's integration capabilities with the entire platform, each of these activities could be sent to Automation Hub, a centralized repository to track process inefficiencies and understand ROA based on external data inputs. As I submit ideas to Automation Hub, relevant process mining metadata will be sent to the service to give automation COE and analyst enough context to make decisions and evaluate the idea. Nevertheless, immediately as I open the application, I can already act and drive initiatives within my company with just the process graph. In addition to process inefficiencies, I can also leverage process mining to perform conformance checking by identifying where a process deviates from an expected path by using AI to track rework and loopbacks. From the conformance checking dashboard, I see that while deviations are trending down, our conformance rate has been declining and non-conforming processes account for most of our process variations. There are several types of deviations which have been identified, including activity rework, invalid end, and loopbacks. I want to focus on inefficiencies. Therefore, I will filter on activity rework to see how this impacts our conformance. I see that approved purchase order level one has been repeated within 1,222 cases and represents the longest average throughput time of 24.84 days. Now it's time to act. Switching to the automation potential dashboard allows me to simulate what savings in an automation would provide. I can sort by automation rate, 
manual processing time and FTE to help determine where I'd like to begin simulating automation potential. I see that approved purchase order level one has a relatively low automation rate and high manual processing time, therefore requires a significant amount of FTE. By selecting this activity, I can indicate the number of ways to complete the process, percent of digital input, and how much of that data is structured. By further automating this activity, we could save over 277 hours of manual processing time. To better understand exactly how this process is performed, I can start a task mining study to trace how my top subject matter experts are performing this process. Fast forward to the next quarter after our automation has been deployed as I would like to see the impact it has had. Using our compare filter, I see that our automation rate is up and our average end-to-end -end throughput time is improving. This allows me to continuously monitor my process ensuring changes being made are positively impacting our performance.